Hi there, and welcome back to Fallout 3. I'm Baron, and we just got, you know, Tenpenny's permission to let the ghouls live in Tenpenny Tower. Well, he agreed to that because we persuaded the residents there. So we just have to tell Roy Phillips now that he can actually move in and his friends. So that was the non violent solution. At least for now. Gully, 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 where are you? I guess I just have to follow the marker. As always. Oh, um, there's the girl, there's the guy. Good to see. Well, kid, what have you accomplished? Mm, I have taken care of things. You can move in now. I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the pharaohs and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our feral brethren if you meet any. We get a ghoul mask and 300 more XP. Yeah, best get on your way. And that completes uh, Ten Penny's Tower the quest. And well, that mask apparently here, if you wear that, uh, the ghouls will think, uh, the feral ones will think you're a ghoul and leave you in peace. But we look really shitty with that, so nah. I'd rather just fight them. Okay, but the good news is that quest now is finished. So we got all the side quests. Now, there, of course, there's a truckload of, um, you know, a truckload of more side quests in Fallout 3. But now I will tackle the main quest. Left or right? I think left. And maybe after we finish the main quest and all the expansions, maybe I will do some more side questing. I don't know. We will probably have reached level 30 by then. And um, I don't know. In the past, when I've reached level 30, uh, most of the time, finished all the main quests and expansions, I kind of lost interest in the game. So this might happen again. I never actually explored everything, you know, all the the spaces, all the locations, and didn't explore all of it. Maybe like 50% or something like that. Oh well, we shall see. So, uh, that's, um, I guess that's, that's, um, point look out, look out, that's the pit. That is, um, mothership Zeta, but we follow the main quest now. Look for that in Project Purity's control room. I would be here, in the Jefferson Memorial. Good thing we already found that. Uh, I guess that's the way. Wait, do I... Oh, I still can carry things. That's good. Local map. Get in here. Yep. Is the light on? Oh, it is. Excuse me? Who is fucking here? Master! Mutants! No, leave me in peace. Thank you, and now my action points have been replenished. I can't see your head. Oh, I can. Oh, dead already. Uh. 
Hey, what the fuck are you doing? You look like you want to throw a grenade. Can't have that, can we? Wait, why are you hostile? Oh, maybe I should have hacked that. Oh well. Gathering four five. Well, one two three four. No, that can't be it. That could be it. It is it. Hmm. Okay, deactivated. It. It's already de destroyed, but you know. Which way? There's no response from the intercom. The grey to pump control. I don't think we need to go down there yet. That's the gift shop. Ooh, we can get some ammo here. That's a nice gift. I take all of that. <laughs> There's a plunger in the safe. Yeah, awesome. I guess it's pretty safe in there. I thought I saw something, but there was nothing. Drink some water. That's a cave-in. Careful. <laughs> Boom, baby. Ha, ha, ha. I looted you. There's a centaur. That leaves us to the rotunda. I guess that's where we have to go. A manhole to theft tunnels. That leads us to the rotunda too. Oops. Oops, that was no sneak. Oh well, reload. No, it's it's already been reloaded actually. No, I'll keep the sledgehammer. That would lead us to the sub basement. Hunting rifle, very nice. So okay, the marker says I have to take uh, use that door here. So I shall do that. Oh, more mutants! Just a, <laughs> with a, a nail board. Not hitting him. Okay, now I hit him. Um, take that, take that, and that. Not the nail board, though. Did 
That's a dead end. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Oh, it's a fucking overlord. No more game. Time to die. Show me your face. It's pretty ugly. Boom, baby. So, we should repair a few super sledges here. I have 8,000 bullets for that one. That's awesome. Uh, Liquid Repeater. I have 328 bullets. And 500 for the Reservist Rifle. And for all Painless I have 367. So I guess I can use the Lincoln's Repeater now again. Where do I have to go? Oh! Project Purity 5 8 10 Listen to Dad's personal journal entry 10 How about I listen to the other ones too? Uh, 5, what do I have here? National Security Archive Security Password I don't need a ten pennies request. Okay. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office I first learned of Braun's involvement in Vault Tech's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. Hey, sorry. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow 
tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close, but that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Okay. So I guess we should be able to find that. It's... oh, it actually shows us. It's here. Casey's Garage. Okay. So we got what we were looking for. So we can leave. Basement. Gift shop. I'm still, you know, exploring more of the area. There is another exit here to the sub-basement and to the pump control. Let's check that out first. Oh wait, um, where was there was something to drink somewhere? No, I guess it was on the other side. Yeah, exactly. And fully healed. Let's kill a few more beauties before we go to vault. What? 112? 212? Whatever. I just saw the sack here. So I thought that mutants must be around. And they probably are. So that's the way we could go, and we could walk that way too. There's a door. This door is not powered and will not open. Okay. How do I power that door? Boom. Nothing. Games. I know. Yep, the Lincoln repeater. Boom, baby! Oh, hi. That's a fucking overlord. Not like that. Oh, what do we have here? More Project Purity thingies. Um, fine. Oh, we have to... There's a Purity Journal and a Purity Personal Journal. We had uh, the Purity Journals... Where is it? One, three, five. And now we have seven and eight. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. 
In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Addison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. Okay. And dead. Lots of foot lockers, but they're all empty. Flat control. What is down here? Nothing apparently. Okay. More games, I know. You're pathetic, you know that? Let's take a look at the map. Sift pump. I don't know, it's probably on an, you know, an upper level or something. I'll wear your bones, a rat. Oh really? With a sledgehammer? I guess this is where I came from. What do we have here then? Oh, okay. Scrap metal. Ooh, more journals. How we could sleep here? There's another journal here. Okay, I guess it's journal time. Project Purity Personal Journal. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry, since I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. That's all I could have hoped for. Now my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, confident. Just like his old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. So here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. 
because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. It will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. I am to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, a very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> Okay, I guess they were happy together. So this apparently is where dad lived. Now the place is full of muties. Okay, I guess we need that switch later. already. I have to get out of here again. Which way? Oh yeah, up here. Oh yeah, mainframe. This door is not powered. Great to pump control. Oh, okay, can get out of here. At least not yet.
Okay, so I guess we could sell a few items. Here at River City. What time is it? 6 p.m. We may still be in time. Before they close down the market. Stay. Decided to check out the shop. Yep. What do you have? Shit, you don't have anything. Well, that's a bitch. Nice to see you again. No, oh, damn it. Okay, we can um, put a few of the mats away. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything. Fine, fine, fine. So, Megaton, here I come. I don't need a ghoul mask. Oh well, maybe I just keep it. It doesn't very much. Oh, I should have sold this stuff, boy. Forgot it. joke yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown one cannibal turns to the other and asks does this taste funny to you haha -ha. okay remove all the rats get a component create a new one sleep for an hour and get the hell out of Dutch. I hope things are going well, Newton. So, gain access to Vault 112. Uh, we didn't discover Smith Casey's garage yet, but we will do so now. Oh, how bad is that? We have to fuck with the raiders again. Like hell. Ooh. 
Who are you? The slave. What's up with you, slave? You're not the enemy. There are some slaves running around. Please help us. Well, I would if I. Well, what do you need? I just killed all the slavers here. You're free to go. Well, damn it, but it's late, so we will, you know, continue this in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.